is Jose Lopez, lower tattoo. I first came to the United States when I was two years old. My parents, you know, they they, uh, they had to go back to Mexico, you know, for, you know, my grandma, like, you know, she was ill. So we went, we went back to Mexico and my dad lost his job and everything, so he had to come back to the United States. I had to stay behind with my grandma. You know, my parents were over here, you know. At first, you know, they were sending money, but then the checks stopped coming. You know, my dad had an accident, so, so he wasn't working over here. My mom wasn't working, so. Pretty much my grandma, she had to step up, you know, and she had to make things work. She had to borrow money from people. She had to, uh, you know what I mean, like, do whatever she had to, you know, to, to feed me and my other two brothers. All these things that, that have happened to me, all these tragedies, you know, just me seeing my grandma, you know, like like back in those days, you know, when, when things were tough for her and, and, and she just had to do whatever she had to, you know, really help me and just learning how to survive. 18 years ago, I got with my girlfriend and uh, we went to a Halloween party. I didn't even drink at the time, you know, like, but that day, I don't know, I just, I was feeling good, you know, like, uh, somebody handed me a beer, you know, and it felt good, bro. And uh, a few minutes after that, you know, there was like a big commotion. Just like any other, you know, 15 year old, I, I wanted to back up my friends. I mean, I went outside and uh, I just happened to go to the opposite side, you know, from where they were, you know. And as, as I was coming out, car was already driving off, and I just happened to be in the in the middle. It breaks you down, you know. Like, I mean, it takes all, all your, I mean, any, uh, I mean, if you used to be a, a a vain person, you know, I mean, if you have if you used to have an ego, it just takes that all out of you. I mean, it teaches to be, you know, humble again. It humiliates you. And having to have a, a lady give you a shower, just laying there naked in this little fucking bed, you know, and, this, and you can't even do nothing for yourself. I used to cry because my, my girl and my mom couldn't spend the night. <laughs> illustration board and I used to like to cover the entire I didn't want no white area to be shown I used to put tape around the edges you know so I used to love peeling a little tape you know once everything was covered the only white parts was just the outside borders like a nice clean border so that was like a it was like a high that I used to get so I would just try to draw and draw and draw and just keep drawing like even even with traveling you know like we go to Europe to all these like fancy places that people talk about I mean I'm proud of everything that I've done you want something new towns and cities you know like just the landmarks I want to go see other places the less luxurious places you know just the third world countries you know just just open up your mind more, you know? It's not about just the nice, I mean, everything's made out of nice stuff and ugly stuff. They're just as beautiful as the other places, but in their own way. So that's what I'm trying to do now. I mean, I, I think that's what I need, you know? I need to get away, just get out of the box, you know, and, and just learn, look for, for other ways of fulfilling myself. <laughs> 